On May 12th, 2025, CISA posted a new advisory about how the U.S. government agency will be sharing up-to-date cybersecurity alerts with the greater community. CISA has been publishing advisories on their cybersecurity alerts and advisories board, giving important technical and operational information used by practitioners in their cybersecurity practices. In the announcement, CISA announced that instead of using their official website to publish announcements, they'll be pivoting to a social media first strategy. The focus of our cybersecurity alerts and advisory webpage will now be on urgent information tied to emerging threats or major cyber activity. CISA wants this critical information to get the attention it deserves and ensure it is easier to find. We'll continue to communicate releases and updates to our stakeholders. To stay informed, subscribe to receive our email notifications on CISA.gov. You can also follow us on X at CISA Cyber for timely cybersecurity updates. In addition to deprioritizing alert listings, they announced that they would also be stopping functionality of the RSS feed for the known exploited vulnerabilities catalog updates. These changes were expected to cause major issues with many of the existing toolings that ingested data provided by CISA's alerts, and the community spoke up loudly. Within 24 hours of the announcement, CISA ended up rolling back their decision to rely on a, quote, social media first strategy. Update May 13th. In an effort to enhance our user experience and highlight the most timely and actionable information for cyber defenders, CISA announced a shift in how we share cybersecurity alerts and advisories. We recognize this has caused some confusion in the cyber community. As such, we have paused immediate changes while we reassess the best approach to sharing with our stakeholders. Relying on social media as an exclusive channel for dissemination of important information is, in my opinion, a huge risk to take. Government social media accounts have been hacked in the past and been used to spread misinformation. It's happened really recently. In January 2024, the SEC official Twitter account was hacked. The illegitimate posts made on the SEC account through a SIM swapping attack led to a measured and direct spike in the value of Bitcoin, which the attacker used to his benefit. Actually, the Alabama-based bad actor was recently sentenced for this attack on May 16, 2025, leading to a $50,000 forfeiture and a 14-month prison sentence. Reflecting on this, how can people in cybersecurity trust what is said on the social media accounts if it is not able to be verified on the CISA official alerts board? Luckily, there was a huge enough pushback that they changed. But what do you think? Would you begin to trust CISA alerts that were exclusively published on socials?